This is going to be on a small little script called uh, Shoutcast Tuner. Um, basically what it allows you to do is search for a Shoutcast stream from the command line and you can pass it on to any player that you want. Uh, the default one that they use is the radio tray which I don't really recommend. Uh, since you're accessing from uh, you know the command line, you might as well just use a command line player uh, to play your stream. So that's what we're gonna do. And what we're gonna do is copy the script here. It's just a regular bash script. So copy that sucker. And I'm gonna use Vim to paste this in. So I'm gonna use Vim, and we'll call this shoutcast tuner dot sh uh, and then we're gonna paste it in and if you want to you know put this like me like how I have it set up um, like I said the default way that they have is they have the radio tray which doesn't really make sense because you have you know this program or, or this script is from the command line and then you open a GUI to to listen to it um, and radio tray only works on GNOME because it's a little applet on your indicator um, so you can't really use it on like other uh, was that desktop environments so that's another drawback of using radio tray so what you want to do if you want to set up like me is comment this part out alright the radio tray part and we're going to say you're going to use M player uh, since M player is a command line player, you can use it uh, from the command line. So uncomment that part out here. And the P grep down here, again, this one is radio tray, so you want to comment that part out. And everything else, the code in here, you don't need to change. So we're going to save it. And make sure you chmod plus x uh, the script to give it permissions, otherwise, it won't run. Right? And from here you can go dot slash, you know, the shoutcast script. Um, otherwise, um, you know, if you want to make an alias, th that's what I'll recommend. Let me see, I'll show you what an alias looks like if you don't know what it is. Um, what is it? Shoutcast. Right, it'll look something like this if you want to type in your own alias into your bash RC file. So I'll just say shoutcast and then you give it a name and then you point it to your script. Right, basically that's what that is. Otherwise, if we want to access from here from our current location, dot slash uh, screencast tuner that we just created, and I'll run the program. I'll ask you, you know, what you want to search for. So let's say I'm searching for jazz or something, and it'll give me I think about ten channels or ten streams. Uh, max. I like it like that because I don't want them to flood with you know with all the channels that they have, uh, just the top ten or something like that. And this is what they do. They, they have. Um, let me see here. We'll say we want to listen to channel three or something here. All right. Push enter. And this part right here is gonna use M player to you know play the stream uh, from Shoutcast. Uh, so that's it. And then you want to quit. Push Q and you're back to the results that you had um, if you want to choose a different channel or whatever let's say 8 right and there you go it keeps playing that um, they do have what is this part here uh, was it the title part here if you want to know what the title is um, there you go but uh, they do have other options like quit and search again which is the always the last two so if I press 11 and I want to search for something else like I don't know soft 90s or something like that if they have any uh, they don't have that let's just say 90s if they have any 90s there you go and you can listen from there if you want otherwise uh, we're just gonna quit right and I'll say goodbye and that's the end of the program so that's the reason why you know you should use M player with this instead of radio tray um, because you can actually use this with other desktop environments anyways if you're interested go get the script and, and do what I did alright that's it for this one